Hello, everyone. My name is Olga. Welcome to our webinar. We are glad to see you again. Our focus today is the integration of On the Office and WordPress, which represent one of the most popular content management systems to host and build websites. So today we will talk about WordPress plugin, WordPress connector, its installation, configuration, and its main features. Some of you may already know that only Office and WordPress can uh, communicate in two ways, using the only Office plugin and using the only Office connector. So you may ask what the difference is. A plugin uh, in only Office is an easy way to add new features to the editors themselves. Using available third party components to simplify routine operations and you have everything you need at your hand in one tab. If you have your own WordPress account, uh, you can publish document as articles directly from the document editor. This plugin is available uh, for only Office, Workspace Cloud, and for server solutions. Let's see how it works in the cloud server. First, you need to open a document, then you proceed to the plugin tab, WordPress. And you can click on the connect button. Approve, you already have an existing account. And after that, you just enter the title of your article and click the publish button. Or we can click save as draft button. And after that, you will see in this post section, all posts in this uh, draft section, you will see the draft that you just saved. Also, you can add uh, images, auto shapes, and tables because they, some kind of objects, they, they cannot be transferred to the WordPress to the inner specifics. So you can add it, you can add them in the post itself. The plugin configuration in the server solution requires a few additional steps. We will not dwell on them today. You can find all the instructions in our help center. And you will find also the link in under the video. I also, I recommend you to watch our YouTube video guides to see how it works, to see how it adds different sorts of plugins. And what is the WordPress connector we're going to talk about as a main feature, as a main topic? Let's discover. A connector allows you to connect only Office Docs and to some uh, other applications. For example, we have recently released uh, connectors to some content management systems. One of them is WordPress. Following the release of the connector, we were often asked why did they need the connector, why it's useful, and how can we benefit from it? It's no secret that offers can add various media files, pictures, and video to the WordPress pages, allowing users to view this file without actually downloading them. At only office, we decided to extend these functionalities with these features primarily to our marketing department because uh, they use, this, use WordPress for blogging and they often ask how to add a document. And also where the form were released, the number of requests increased significantly. So uh, we created the connector that allows us to connect our editors to WordPress and embed documents into pages uh, for users to view. And to make things easier for offers, we also added the ability to edit the document directly in WordPress and even allow administrators to collaborate on it, which can save a lot of time for offers. Now let's see how it works and let's start. What do we need to know before the installation? To be able to work with Office document in WordPress, you need an instance of only Office Docs version 6.1.0 or later, uh, which is resol uh, resolvable and connectable both for WordPress and any other end clients. It must be able to post directly to WordPress. Also, you should have WordPress version 5.9.0 or later, and only Office Connector version 1.0.2 for WordPress. So where can you find the connector? You can download the connector from our GitHub and from plugin, WordPress plugins directory. Here, you will see the download button. Once you get the plugin, you should click on the plugins tab, add new. 
After that, you click Upload Plugin and choose the file from your computer. That select the downloaded zipped plugin. And after that, you just activate the plugin and it will work. So the connector is installed. What's next? Let's talk about configuring it. We go to the WordPress dashboard, administrative dashboard, uh, only office settings, and specify the following parameters. The URL of the installed only office docs. And to protect your document from unauthorized access, uh, only office uses uh, the JSON web token. The token is added in the configuration when the document is initialized and during the exchange of command between INA on the office docs services. The secret key is used to sign the JSON web token and validate the token upon the request of only office docs. You can find more information about JSON web token by following the link in the description too. And finally, let's take a look at the connector from the practical point of view. All uploaded file in the media section will appear at only office files and administrator dashboard. You will see all the files um, that can be edited and open in all the office. After clicking on the document, the corresponding only office uh, editor opens in the same tab. All the changes are saved in the same file after each editing session. In other words, when all the co-editor editors read the document. And users this with the administrator's rights are able to edit and collaborate on documents, spreadsheets, and presentation using two co-editing modes. You can find it under the file tab, advanced settings. By default, the fast mode is selected. It means that other users will see your changes at once in real time. And if you choose the street mode, you will need to accept changes before you can see them. So you should click on this and the changes will appear. While editing, you, should, you can add comments. If your co-editor needs the documents uh, on the changes made by other users or you, just indicate the passage. Right click on the passage and click add comments. And also you can click on the button in the left side panel. And if you need to discuss immediately something with your colleagues, you can, you can use our built-in chat, but please note that the messages from the chat are stored during one editing session only. In the WordPress editor, each paragraph, image, a video is presented as a distant block of content. You can add such elements, blocks when creating a post. We already opened a create a post window and upload a new file selected from a media library. Blocks can help to create media rich pages and posts. You can control the layout of the blocks with ease and to build visually appealing websites. For that, we have the following formats. For editing, we have three formats. And for viewing, uh, the list of available formats is longer. So we already opened a create a post window. What's next? We should click on the plus button, then just click only office. And the block is added. Here you can upload a file from your computer to the only office block. And here you can upload a file from your media library to the only office block. The file edit is displayed with the on the office logo with the file name in the currently edited post. And also you can click on the settings. Replace the visual edit editor by code editor. If you can change the size of the document, for example, it's 100%. And I will change it. 70%, for example, then you click on the update button and visual editor, and you will see the document itself in uh, embedded in the post. Now your WordPress visitor, site visitors will have access to the file in the viewing in the embedded mode. So it looks like the preview looks like that. You can change the scale. And this way they can view the inserted file without actually downloading it. So that's it. As you can see on the Office Docs and WordPress is a straightforward process thanks to the only Office integration plugin, which is functioning like the bridge between two services.
Such integration allows you to work with on the office uh, documents right in your WordPress without a need to switch between several applications. And WordPress is only one of the connectors which are available uh, for on the office to connect with. You can find more connectors in our website by following the integration tab. So the full list of connectors is available. And also, if you would like to learn more about functionality about WordPress and on the office integration, or you are interested in some other topics, you should click on the About tab, Training Courses, and then you select, just submit the request, and then we'll be happy to provide you with all details. And now I think it's time to finish our webinar. And we, are, uh, we will be uh, answer the questions that we uh, got from registered users. The first question is, is it possible to publish article from all the office desktop editors? Unfortunately, this feature is not available in only of desktop editors because uh, the WordPress plugin is available only in Workspace Cloud, only of Workspace Cloud and in server solutions. And what is the next quick question? Can users edit a document inserted in a post? Currently, users cannot edit the documents embedded uh, in the post, but in the future release, we have, uh, if this feature is planned to be introduced, so other users will be able to edit the post. That's it. There was two questions from registered user. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. We will be happy to answer them. And we think we, and we think you enjoyed the webinar. Thank you for being with all the office. Bye.